guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, today I wanted to make a video on the 2x2x3 two by two by cuboid. <clears throat> so these cuboids are, um, they're pretty different. Like, um, you really don't solve them the same way that you solve uh, regular cubes just because of the way they turn. So um, this particular one is not a shape shifter. So no matter how you turn it, you know, it, it st keeps its shape. But um, there are some out there that do, you know, change shapes. But anyway, so uh, I just want to make a quick video about how to solve this one because there's not a, a lot of videos on these out there. And it's, it's fairly simple. There's only two algorithms. Uh, so I'll go ahead and mix it up and we'll get started. Okay, so here we go. It's all mixed up. And um, the first thing you want to do is solve the white and the yellow faces. Now normally if you're familiar with solving cubes, uh, you would also make sure that you know all the pieces were in the right spots, but on this one you don't do that. The only thing you're going to worry about is getting all the white and all the yellow together. Now I always start uh, with the piece that has the little logo. That's just how I do it. You don't have to do that. But um, that's what I'm going to do. Now there's no algorithm for solving these faces. You're just going to have to you know, use your head a little bit. So as you can see, I already have a line of white and I'm just going to bring another one up there. So now I have like an L. Okay, now what I'm going to need to do is match this white with that white. So I'm just going to move that one so now that it's there. And so that's going to make it so that when I turn it down, it matches them up. I'll turn it over to the side and then bring it up. Now, when you solve the white face, the yellow will automatically be solved. So that's your step one. Now, the next thing you want to look for is two colors that are next to each other that are solved. And I happen to have these orange. So that's what you want to look for. Um, once you have one set of colors that are solved, then you want to hold those to your left. And then we're going to do an algorithm that is going to um, fix these others. Okay, so the algorithm is right, up, right, up prime, right. And then front, up prime, front, up, front. So now you can see that they're solved all the way around. Okay, now we want to do the same thing with the yellow side. So I'm just going to flip it over. We'll take a look. I already see the greens are solved. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Right, up, right, up prime, right, then front, up prime, front, up, front. So now we have those solved. Okay, so once you have the top and the bottom layer solved, you're ready to move on. Okay, so I do want to mention uh, that it is possible when you're doing that last step to not have any pieces that are matched up. And if that happens, just do the algorithm. Uh, it doesn't matter how you hold it, just hold it any way you want. Do the algorithm, and then that will match up a couple of colors like I had. And then just do the same way that I just showed you. All right, so uh, again, once you finish the top and the bottom layer, we're ready to start working on the middle layer, and that'll be our last step. Now, what I want to do is try to move this and solve it as much as possible so that you know as, as many pieces are matched up as you can get and that's kind of what I have here so if you look at each face there's only one piece that's kind of out of whack okay so uh, after you do that you want to kind of take a look at what you have do you have any face that is complete. In my case I don't, um, but I'll show you what to do in just a minute. So it just so happens that 
I don't have any face that's complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to look for a situation where the color that I want happens to be on the opposite side. As you can see, the green is what I'm looking for with mine. Now if I look here, is the orange over there? No. Okay, is the blue over there? It is. So I, I could do the same move over here, but I like to always look for the piece that's on the right. So I'm going to use the green. Okay, so what I'm going to do is right prime and then middle and then right. Now a lot of the times you'll be solved. Not every time because you can see mine didn't solve either because I have uh, these two are on the wrong sides. That's okay. But what I do have is I now have a face that's solved. I actually have two that's solved, but that, that's okay. Alright, so once you have a face that's solved, you want to again hold it to your left and then we're going to do an algorithm that's going to switch these two. So uh, basically it's going to do this, but it's not going to mess up the top and bottom layer. Alright, and it's real simple. You're going to do right, up twice, right, up twice, right, up twice. And now we see what we have. All right. Now, I'm getting pretty close. The only two that are still in the wrong spots are these. Okay, so again, you know, basically what I want is that. So these two just need to be switched. So I'm going to do that same thing. The ones that you want switched should be on your right. And you're just going to do right, up twice, right, up twice, right, up twice. And there you go. All right, now there's not a whole lot of other situations, but um, I'll try to show you uh, each situation that I can think of, and hopefully I can clarify any confusion. Okay, so this is really the only other situation I can think of that you might run into, and this is uh, very similar to what I had earlier, where I don't have a complete face. On each face, there's one color that's off. Okay, but the only difference is this time I don't have that situation where I have a color that I can turn and match up. Okay, so uh, what I showed you earlier, that's just kind of a little shortcut. You don't even have to really know that. Um, so if you have a situation like this, then we're just going to go back to that last algorithm that I showed you in the last step. So I don't really have a paired up uh, set to put on the left, so it really doesn't matter how I hold this thing. I'm just going to hold it like this. And I'm just going to do that R, U2, R, U2, R, U2. And now I'm going to look again and see what I have. Okay, so I'm kind of in the same boat. Um, now I could just kind of keep playing around with that algorithm, you know, just holding it different ways until I solve it. But what I see is that situation that I showed you earlier, and it just so happens it's the green again, where if I do an R prime, then I actually match up the two colors. So um, now that you have this, we can just go back and do that one that I showed you earlier which is an R prime, a middle, and then an R. And then, like I said earlier, sometimes that will solve it. In this case, it did. So, really, those are the only situations you're going to see. This is an easy uh, little cuboid to solve. I like it. Um, so, uh, they, they do get bigger. They have, you know, you can get a 3x3x4. Three by three by you can get a 2x2x4. I've seen... Uh, a lot of different different ones, but uh, this is the only one I have right now. Maybe in the future I'll get some different ones and I'll figure out how to solve those and and uh, make some videos on those. We'll see. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video. I know I haven't uploaded a new video in a while. I apologize for that. Uh, a lot of things going on, but uh, hopefully uh, 
this will help you out if you were looking how to solve this. So I want to thank you for watching and stay safe out there. See you next time.